How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this shiny Zashian Premium figure collection. This is the last product of Crown Zenith together with the Zamazenta Premium figure collection. So this is a nice send-off for Crown Zenith and the Sword and Shield era, if you will. You get a bunch of booster packs, like 10 booster packs, you got nice looking sleeves, nice looking promo, a pin, and of course the figure. This is actually super cool, let me just show you the back. You can also see that, and then we, I guess we rip it open, if I can. The glue is usually pretty strong, so it's always a pain to rip these open. Um, let's see, this seems to be opening pretty well, well kind of, I guess, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, Crown Zenith, this is, as I've said, the last product of Crown Zenith. What a send-off. You get so many booster packs, and I think... MSRP for this, what is this, 60 or 50? One of the two at MSRP. So here we have the Zashian promo. Oh, all right, here is the Zashian promo. It wants to escape. This is actually super cool. I'm pretty sure this Zashian and the, the Zamazenta were actually Japanese exclusive before for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if that's true. That's what I've heard. I might check that. But this is pretty cool. I know, I always like these. These especially shiny promos. Of course, you also get this... This pin right here. This is actually pretty cool. I have a bunch of... Of different pins. And then, the figure, man. Dude, the figure actually looks super cool. I actually really like this one. This is really, really cool, this figure. And that's about everything. The sleeves... The sleeves are pretty cool. Well, these are- these look very similar to sleeves you would normally get from, like, Pokemon Center Japan. But, they're not nearly the same quality as those sleeves. These are essentially just different colored sleeves as the- the Crown Zenith. The same cheap feeling material as these ones. But, I do have to admit, they look pretty cool. Let me just show you. So, these are- Pokemon Center exclusive sleeves, like Pokemon Center Japan. And the sleeves for for these ones, they just they feel so much more high quality compared to, to these. That's just something I wanted to note here. But anyways, the main event is of course these boosters. Let me zoom in a bit. There we go. So we have the boosters. I guess we can have the, the Zashian figure on on display, same with the pin. Maybe it will give us good luck, but let's see what we can get here for these. We have 10 boosters, so I'm not gonna do the card trick. Well, actually, no, this is Sword and Shield. We do have to do the card trick, but I'm not going to. Since we have that many, we have a Yanma here, a Pawniert, Cricketot, a Chat Dot, a Reverse, another Pawniert, and a Charizard V. We're starting it off hot with our first pull right here. And here is the code card. Good luck. Man, it's Charizard on our first pull. That's kind of amazing. There are still so many cards from Crown Zenith that I would like to get. Well, mainly the gold cards. I would really love to pull at least one of them. The only gold card from like the 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 like Arceus or Giratina. I've only ever pulled the Giratina, but I've pulled that from 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 V Star Universe, so that one was definitely very very cool. But anyways, let's see what we can get here. Perloin. Yo, we've got a Galarian Gallery card, a Seville, and a Mewtwo holographic. Okay, and here is the code card. Let's just display the cards like this, I suppose, for now. We'll see how much pulls we end up getting. But yeah, I've actually ordered a, what, one card from Crown Zenith recently, which is in an upcoming video. I'm actually going to do another Mail Day video. Probably the one, like, the one after this video is going to be, so next week. So stay tuned for that. I've ordered a bunch of, of awesome cards. Not as many as in my thousand euro or thousand dollar opening, but still, still rather cool. Still a lot, a lot of cards. The cards I ordered from Crown Zenith, or THE card I ordered from Crown Zenith, was the one that I was missing. That I really, really wanted for my, for my binder to make it look like uniform in a way. Which was Irida. Because I've already, I've pulled the Adaman already. So I'm, I was just missing the Irida to make it look really, really good. At least on the page for my, 
for my full art trainers. I really want to show off my binder at some point. I mean, my front page is finally done, thankfully, with the EX cards, but it's still yo a Suicune V! This is the second Suicune that I've pulled. I've already pulled this before, not just in Japanese, I've also pulled this in English before. And we've got like a reverse energy right here too. Man, okay. Well, that is pretty cool. The Suicune is one of the better pulls you can get from, from Crown Zenith. Yo, and the energy. Let's put him right here. Let me show off the Suicune again because this is such a cool illustration. Like, I can't get enough of this one. This is super cool. Nice, very, very nice. Do I have sleeves? I guess I can use the, the Crown Zenith sleeves right here. There we go, you know, just to protect it a little bit. Usually I'd use penny sleeves, but... I am ill-prepared. I might have to put the, the Zashian right here. There we go, we can actually see the cards and we still have... We still have... Actually, let me put the, the figure over here. Interfering with the boosters. We still have so many booster packs left to open. I would really go crazy for a, for a full art trainer, as you know. I do like him. How many have I pulled? I've pulled Melanie. I've pulled Adamon. Which am I missing? I'd be happy about it, Sharon. Actually, Sharon's care would be pretty good. Or just, you know, friends in Gala, friends in Sinnoh. No, not friends in Gala. Friends in Sinnoh, friends in Hizui. Friends in Gala is from Silver Tempest. The wrong, the wrong expansion I'm thinking of. Okay. Still a bunch of booster packs. Man, I like this. So many booster packs and Crown Zenith is probably my favorite set from the Sword and Shield era. Maybe that's just recency bias, but this is pretty amazing, you have to admit. There's so many awesome cards you can pull from here. Switch. We've got a Snow Runt. We've got another, like, Reverse Energy or whatever. We've got a Waylord. Okay, and we've got a V-Star Marker, interesting. Kind of an odd pack, if you will. There goes the Code card. Let me put this right here. The Energy, I guess, can just go right there. And here we go. Okay, we've got four booster packs left. Let's see if we can get a full art trainer. Man, I go crazy over a full art trainer. That one would make my day. I mean, the Suicune, the Suicune is already super cool. Like, the Suicune is already one of the, the better pulls that you can get. Let's see, Oddish. Yo, Radiant Eternatus. I've kind of forgotten that the Radiant cards were in here as well. And friends in Hizui! Or friends in Sinnoh, excuse me! Friends in Sinnoh, just as I've said, I would be really happy when we pull the full art trainer. We do pull one, and even one of my favorites here. Yo, this is so cool, dude. Matt, get these boxes. These boxes are stacked, I'm telling you. We put the energy right here. Put this right here, and let's just get a get a close-up of the friends in Sinnoh. I still need this in Japanese because I do want to send the Japanese copies or most most of my cards are in Japanese that I'm going to send for in for grading. So I still need this in Japanese, but this is super super cool. Yo, this is going to look great in my binder. Nice. Yo, I'm super happy about this. Let's put this right here under the or over the energy. Yo, man. Well, I actually miscounted. Now we have four booster packs left. Yo, we've already gotten like two really great cards from this box. Man, that's amazing. The only way, the only way we can top this is if we pulled like the Friends in Hizui as well, or like a gold card on top. Like then I would just lose it. That would be, that would be insane. Whoa, Radiant Charizard too. Holy moly, this box is stacked. Radiant Charizard? Man! What's going on with this box? I'm kind of concerned now. Now that I'm lucky with opening cards, what's going to happen in the next few openings? Am I just not going to pull anything? Am I just using all my luck for this opening? We'll see if I can get this booster pick open. It's really hard to open. And you know what that means? That means there's usually something really great inside, right? That is what that means. Let's see, we've got a Cricket Tot, a little Tater Tot. We've got an, an Aaron. 
Riolu, really cute. Could have Starly, that's a nice illustration. Where the Sizer, is this by Oswaldo Kato? No, Narumi Sato, okay. Kelly Rex, and a Volcarona. Nothing in this one, there's friends in Sinnoh. And here is the, the code card. Get the energy right there. And bam! So, two booster packs left, let's see. I'm already super happy with this opening. We've already pulled, like, so many great cards here. I don't even need anything else. This is amazing. Let's see, Larvista. Got a Ponyard. We've got a Whalemur. Pokeball. We've got a Corfish, really happy Corfish. I love that illustration. And a Heliolisk. Knows goes for that one. A V Star Marker. And the Code Card, not to forget. Of course. Of course. Okay. The last booster pack from our Zashian Premium Figure Collection. Let's see. Ooh, man. Ooh, man. Let's see. Maybe I can do the card trick for this one. You know, let's see. We show off the code card right here. There you go. And then we do four to the front. And we flip it around. We have a psychic energy. We have friends in Sinnoh, Lairon. We've got a rescue carrier. We've got a Wulu. We've got a Shinx, very cute. We've got a Pancham. What's hiding here? Snow Runt. We have a Rockruff. We have a Reverse Calyrex, seen that one before. And we have a Yan Mega. Okay, so nothing in the last pack. But, man, just look at the pulls, and you tell me if this was worth it. I think it was. Just look at these. These look absolutely amazing. Super, super happy. Really happy about this Friends in Sinnoh. Man, oh man. This was amazing. Well, but anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, then by all means, give it a dislike. Tell me in comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos, maybe. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.